<sighs> so, wonderful and amazing charm here. Uh, welcome to another daily video about daily videos. Um, in this video, we're gonna. Oh God! Sorry, my phone just said ten percent, ten percent battery. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be talking about being patient with yourself. Um, I notice that there's a lot of people, or well, not a lot of people, just people commenting. Um, yeah, but it's hard. Uh, Surrender is hard and it's, it takes a lot of time and stuff like that. Um, this is a video just about patience in general, but honest to God factor, like if you're not patient with yourself, who, who will be, you know, we, oh my God, there's so much, so much to talk about on this topic, but really at the end of the day, you do not, like there's, I would say there's two kinds of, okay, let's, let's, let's put it into words. Be patient with yourself to figure shit out. Be patient with yourself to figure your shit out. If you are in a position where you are trying to heal, grow, create something, for the love of God, be patient with yourself. We put unnecessary pressure on ourselves because we, as human beings, we look up. You know, sometimes we look down. A lot of times we look up. We look to Instagram. We look to Facebook. We look to other successful business people. We look up to our parents. We look up to see other people doing and creating, and we look up to our dreams and our goals. What ends up happening is, is that when we do this, we forget that every tower has to be put one brick at a time. Every creation is one brick at a time. I have seen business people, motherfucking business people, every time they try and skip steps, me being one of them, every time you skip steps, the universe will bring you back to those steps. Stories of people losing all their millions, people creating relationships that were too soon, you know, jumping steps. In order to like, because they want it now. We want to satisfy a part of ourselves. That's why yesterday's video was about going back to where we started. That's what people do. In other words, like in other words of like, um, not just going back to where we started, but we often go back to solve the very thing that we did not solve. Me, even learning about relationships and stuff like that. When I was a young hog, like I wanted to personally learn how to create a relationship from absolute fucking nothing yet i was still terrified i knew everything about creating relationships but i was still terrified of like interacting with human beings like from the starting point like there was this fear of like from nothing they don't know me they're going to reject me they're going to hurt me all this sort of stuff that's where i came to surrender so if you are new to this channel it's always worth saying surrender is the incredibly powerful incredibly motherfucking free um method of self-healing and emotional evaluation where you Feel your emotions without modifying them. That means if you feel guilty, if you feel stressed, if you feel fatigued, you let yourself fully surrender to those emotions. And as a result, you, uh, you turn the bad emotions good, the good emotions great. You end up healing yourself and creating what we call an elevated position. So you learn new and amazing things about yourself and then you realize, oh shit, what was I stressed out about? What was I fucking destroyed about? Like... I often describe this as create what you want through emotional healing because you literally will create what you want. It might not be what you want in the end, but usually it's like deep down because sometimes we want things because we're insecure. We want the relationship because we want to run like a script. Um, but anyway, so that's the thing about that's the thing about surrender is that when you ultimately start to surrender and you start to realize, oh God, I'm not stressed. I'm stressed out about being stressed or I'm fatigued about being fatigued and I... I hate myself or like all of this stuff comes up this this repressed bullshit comes up this grief i know uh gg you, you've gone through a fuck ton of grief it's like jesus christ but like that comes up and it goes and grief itself turns into acceptance and like and like love and gratitude and all of these it's like a ladder like you literally will climb the ladder from like from grief, grief and apathy all the way up to just like happiness and courage and excitement and just 
the willingness to express yourself. Um, yeah, but it's worth being patient with yourself through any practice. Like, even, okay, that was the thing before. You know, at the start where I was like, oh, there's so much to say. What I wanted to say was be patient with yourself even if you want to speed up the process. For me to understand and to now be able to share surrender so fluently, it took me five years. I still feel like I don't fucking know it. No, I do now. Um, thanks to the coronavirus locking me at home with nothing else to do but to meditate. But now I get it, right? It took me five years to figure this shit out. And now I share this thing every day. And since then, I'm seeing like people getting effects from it. Every day, I get happier. You motherfuckers get happier. We are on a fucking fantastic journey. And part of this journey is about self-love. And part of the most amazing thing you can do for yourself is to let yourself fully be patient with yourself. To take steps one step at a time. Think of a baby. What does a baby do? A baby will look around and watch parents how to walk. How do I walk? One motherfucking step at a time. What if, what if a baby falls down? Well, we don't... Look, I'm, like, this is funny because I'm, I'm sharing this because this is something I heard from uh, what was it Tony Robbins. He would talk about this. He would be like, The baby, my brother. I can't do his voice. But what he, would, what he would say was basically like, the parents, we don't scold the baby. What I'm like, baby, you should have done better. Why haven't you not worked better? But as adults, that's what we do. We as adults, we push ourselves. Now, this is back to me. We as adults, we push ourselves. We, we want it yesterday. And it's because the pain is uncomfortable. The pain is uncomfortable. But that is literally what I'm asking you guys here. To surrender. To fully feel the pain. If you are tired, if you are sad, to fully feel sad, well, most people then are afraid. And I was afraid. For five years, I was afraid of this. I was afraid that if I surrendered to the sad feeling, I would do nothing but feel sad. Nothing but feel sad. It's not have to take that long. What happens is, is if you feel, if you're afraid of feeling sad, Feel afraid of feeling sad. Let everything come up. That's why working with me, that's why like actually talking like physically is really good because you have someone to look at you who's walked down the path. Now, what's important then, right? If you are like, if you are so full of sadness and impatience and grief and all of this stuff, like, I, I say this like everyone is, but motherfucker, everyone is. Like, I look around, I'm like, like, once you go through it, you can see it. You see people struggling with the very things that you struggled with. That's why I love this for the terms of relationships. If you finally surrender and let go for the very desire for the relationship, which, you know, like, people watching, I know that you guys fucking do this. Like, you surrender it, you then will develop almost, I, like, I can't describe it, it's like a witch sight. Like, you can see it in other people. You can see them struggling for love, that they desire it, that they want the very thing that you want, but you have surrendered and let it go, and you are at peace with it. And because you can see it, then you give it. And you are like water to someone who's never had it before. That's the fucking, that's the beauty that's the insane thing that drives me wild. That's like why I'm so excited because you can see it in other people. But you cannot, to quote the Rick and Morty episode, I fucking love it, you can't fix time while you're standing in it. You can't like help someone else if you're in the same situation. You have to surrender. You have to feel your shit. Let it come up. Let it get out there and be patient with yourself and most importantly, forgive yourself for taking longer than expected. Because usually things take longer because we wanted them to speed up. All right. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow.